welcome back. It's seven days to the elections, and the momentum has not waned on either side. All the political parties are aiming for that final day. The politicians are still searching for the votes and support of Nigerians, Nigeria's electorate. And those who are seeking to pick up their permanent voter cards are still going along. And I, got, I just saw a tweet here, someone that says, Oh, thank God, I finally got my transferred PVC yesterday. Great. Thank you, Ainek. Good for Ainek. That's uh, a lux man. Okay, sorry, I had to bring that tweet in because I thought it was good to mention. But let's look at the conduct. A lot of people are still worried about the conduct of the election. The situation in the northeast, where the military is continuing to gain ground, yet there are still concerns about the security of the personnel that will be there to conduct the elections. Accusations, counter-accusations from the PDP, the APC, come accusing themselves back and forth. The way forward, what do we do? How do we conduct ourselves? How, how should the electoral umpire manage the entire situation in such a way that at the end of the day, it will be seen to have been free, fair, and credible? But we're hoping to discuss this today. And joining us to discuss the preparation seven days to D-Day are Mr. Patrick Obahiagbo, Honorable Patrick Obahagbo, Chief of Staff to the Edo State Governor. Thank you for coming. My pleasure. Also here is Dr. Austin Tam George, Executive Director, Institute of Communication and Corporate Studies. Thanks for having me. And joining us from our studios in Abuja, Dr. Kat Onanuju, Economist, Visiting Scholar, Heritage Center Abuja, and also a member of the PDP. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, gentlemen. Um, again, there's no woman here, is there? No. Uh, no, but maybe that's because we're going to have the women come in after this segment. <laughs> All right, let, let me begin with you, Obayagbo. It's seven days to the D-Day. How would you say the preparations have been? Well, for me, uh, I want to give uh, eulogies, if possible. I will even give panegyrics to I think. Uh, for me, there has been some... Uh, substantial amelioration in terms of preparing for the election from 2011 to where we are now. Yes, INEC has not been a perfectionist, but in any case, they are not angels. Within the shortcomings, the systemic shortcomings, I want to say, they have done their best. Seven days to the election, I am very, very happy to observe that all the sensitive and non-sensitive materials have, ar have arrived all the respective states and they are in safe custody. I am happy to observe that over 81% of registered voters have collected their PVCs. About, 60, about, 68, about, 68 million, about 68 million people registered. About 56 million people have collected their PVCs, which is over 81 percent. I am satisfied about the Olympian aloofness, about the latitudinarian predisposition of the electoral umpire, in spite of the bashing, in spite of the deliberate quagmire orchestrated by some political dramatic personae. But Jaga has simply, has simply decided to be above the frail. I'm happy to observe that just now, INEC has sent out its 12 national commissioners to the respective states. We in APC, we are fully prepared for this election. But it is, it is sardonic to observe. So just give me five minutes. It is sardonic to observe. I don't think you have five that, minutes. That it is sardonic to observe that it is the incumbent government, the People's Democratic Party, that are just afraid of this election. 